So you want to learn how to generate real estate leads? Well, I've got a marketing strategy that will allow you to attract the type of prospects you want to work with. If you're new to this channel, I'm Sebastian Malinowski. I help real estate agents grow their business through marketing so they don't have to prospect like it's 1985. If this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the perfect avatar. Now, before you're saying, what does that have to do with lead generation? Stick with me, it will all make sense, I promise. It's the first step in the foundation phase, which is part of the tribe agent roadmap. So the perfect avatar is where you do your client recon. The purpose is to bring you from spray and pray marketing to intimate target marketing. In previous videos, I've described what the whole roadmap is, each of the three phases. I will leave the link to those videos in the description below. Let's start with the avatar. The first step to lead generation is to understand who your perfect client is. You have to understand what their problems are and you have to understand how you're going to be able to solve their problems. That is the entire basis of lead generation. I have an example for you. Can you imagine you having a conversation with a brain surgeon and the brain surgeon says to you, I need leads, I need to grow my business. And you think, okay, well, I'll just give you a list of the sick people. Do you think these leads are going to be very useful to a brain surgeon? Probably not. The question is, why not? A brain surgeon fixes a specific problem, which means that brain surgeon only works with a certain type of client, the avatar. Maybe a person that has a brain problem. So if that brain surgeon gets a list of leads, well, people on that list may have a broken leg, twisted ankle, maybe some stomach issues, maybe some shoulder problems. You catch my drift? Yes, they're all technically leads and they all have some sort of a physical problem and they need a doctor. But a brain surgeon, yes, even though they probably can fix and address these issues because they had to become general practitioners, I believe in the beginning, they're looking for people with brain issues because that is the perfect avatar or client they're looking for. When it comes to real estate, that works the exact same way. So as an agent, the one thing I come across all the time is they just want leads. And then I ask what kind of leads? Well, leads, people that are looking to buy or sell. Okay, well, first time buyers, move up buyers, sellers, investors, overseas investors, who, like what kind of leads? And most agents at that point in time, they will either say yes to everything or, oh, I didn't know that's what you're talking about. And that's where the perfect avatar comes into play. One way I can explain the perfect avatar, it's like finding your sweet spot. What do most agents do? Well, they will travel an hour or two because due to the lack of business, they will actually go out, way out of their way, drive hours to help a buyer buy or list a property way outside of their geographical area that they're used to trading real estate in. But why do they do that? Well, they're willing to literally work with anybody. If an investor were to call most agents and say, can you find me a home? Most agents would say yes. But the ones that know who their perfect avatar is, they would say, that's not my sweet spot. The agents that have their sweet spot or they know who they want to work with, they're busy with these clients because they're attracting these types of clients if they're doing their marketing correctly. So you see, when it comes to lead generation, the first step is to know who your perfect avatar is. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you only worked with the type of ideal client you want to work with, whoever it happens to be. It could be a seller in a specific neighborhood or only the first time buyer or only investors or whoever your ideal client is. Have you ever worked with somebody, whether it's a buyer or a seller and you wished you had more clients like that, but then you've got these other people who want you to help them and due to the lack of business, most agents will say, well, okay, fine, let me help you out. I'm really not a fan of this type of work, but I'll do it. For example, there are agents who will only focus on listings. And when a buyer calls them, what do they do? Well, they'll, they'll typically say, here, let me refer this buyer out because they don't wanna work with that kind of client. That's not their sweet spot. 
They just want to go take on more listings. Once you know who your ideal client is that you want to work with that suits your needs, your lifestyle, then and only then you can develop a message that will attract that client. But the first step of lead generation is actually trying to figure out who the heck is my client? It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? And no, not everybody should be your ideal client. It's all about finding the sweet spot because once you find that, business will be a lot more fun. I promise you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Again, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Don't forget the ringy dingy bell button. Otherwise, it doesn't really mean anything. It's almost like you didn't even subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.